G'day, how are you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography and of course, Adam Williams Creative YouTube channel. <laughs> well, this is like the wiggles. Do, 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 do. What on earth was that? Should I cut it? No, we'll keep going, we'll keep going, we'll keep going as I turn probably beetroot red from embarrassing myself. All right, what are we doing? Well, a couple of days ago, you might have seen the video where I introduced my favorite Photoshop plugin, the Nick Collection by DxO. Okay, in that video, and I'll, I'll put a link up here somewhere, and I'll put a link in the description to that previous video as well, so that you can check that out. In that video, we did a little bit of a rough overview. I showed you the bits and pieces of this particular plugin, and I showed you one of the aspects, or I mentioned there was three aspects, or, or three pieces of the Nick collection that I found to be of great value. The color effects, the analog effects, and silver effects. Now, in the previous video, we looked at color effects a little bit, and today we're going to look at silver effects, which is for black and white photography, a whole bunch of filters for black and white photography. Now, I'm pretty hopeless, and don't do a lot of, to be honest, of black and white photography, but silver effects makes me look like a genius, and makes my color photos that are pretty ordinary, often I'll go to black and white when the color is just a bit ho-hum, you know, middle of the day shot, doesn't look very good in color, but switch it over to black and white using Nick FX and I often get a really incredible result. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Give me a second and we'll switch over to Photoshop. But before we do that, I will say this is not a paid video. I'm not being paid by DxO to do this, although, side note, I kind of am, I'm an affiliate of DxO. So the link down below where you can get 30% off this particular plugin I will get a small cut from that. Now, I'm not spruiking this because I'm getting a small cut. I've been using the uh, Nick Collection by DxO for about six, seven, eight, nine years, something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but a long time. And in actual fact, I paid full price to upgrade recently. So I actually paid more than the price I've been able to get for you guys down in the link below. Okay, well, actually, I didn't arrange it. It just happens to be the software is on special. So it's a good time to be signing up if you like this. And if you like black and white photography or you're interested and wanting to get into it, stick with me. Let's go into Photoshop and I'll show you all about it. Okay, let's switch her over. Whoop, wrong one. That one. Here we go. Everything there. Hopefully my microphone's working. It looks like I can see all the tools. All right, I think we are golden. Okay, so yesterday, as I said yesterday, and you can have a look in the description below, I'll leave the links for the other Nick Collection explainer videos if you like. Yesterday we took this ordinary RAW file, this one here, just doesn't have any detail or contrast, does it? And look what we were able to do with Color FX, particularly the Detail Extraction Filter. Bop! Even brought out all those dust spots, didn't it? <laughs> you think I could be professional and remove the dust spots, but you get the point. Look at that. No detail at all. And it just makes the photo. Look, it's taken it from nothing into something. Absolutely. Okay, now today, we're going to take this one. As I said, a bit of a midday shot. I'm not a real sunrise guy because, you know, I like sleeping in. So I'm not a real 4 a.m. kind of photographer. So often, I'll go out when you know, there's a bit of a cloudy overcast sky and I'll grab photos like this. But, you know, as a colour photo, it's okay. It's not great, but I think it'll make a really great black and white. And this is where silver effects comes in. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not a great black and white photographer. I don't have any complex black and white workflows to really make my photos sing. And I don't do a lot of it, but I can get really, really great results from this Nick FX or Nick Collection. If we go to the filter menu here, Nick Collection. As I showed you yesterday, these are all the bits and pieces. You get nine different plugins in the collection. I only use three of them and I think they're incredibly valuable in my workflow. Jump back and check out yesterday's video for more info on that. Silver FX Pro is the one we want. Click on there. And this is really simple, really simple stuff. Okay, so there's an update available. Must be relatively recent. I'll do that later. No need to do it now. Okay. Now you see, you get this extra panel here. 
I'm just going to go full screen on that. So we're still kind of in Photoshop, but we've moved into the Silver FX workspace within Photoshop. And when we click OK after we're finished, it will jump back to Photoshop and we can keep adding some more layers over there. And this one is really, really simple. Basically, we just have all these different filters on the left here. And what I'll, I mean, just take your time. I like to click on the top one and just use the arrow keys and just bump on down. You know, that's, that's a pretty good start already. We could work with that, but I think they'll be better. It's a bit dark, isn't it? A bit dark in the shadows, a bit dark everywhere, really. I mean, a bit high key. They call it overexposed, that one, as a filter. Mm, not for me. Again, too blocky in the shadows, too dark in the shadows, not for me. You know, so, ooh, you know, a bit HDR-ish, but I quite like it. Again, look at the unprofessionality, if that's a word, dust spots. Sorry, guys, I need a professional dust spot remover to come in before I start these videos. Um, that one's nice, structure smooth. Okay, we've got a little bit of highlights here, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of pop in the sky, sand's looking good, the light's looking nice. No, no, a bit dark in the shadows dark overall. So, you know, there's lots of different filters here. That's quite kind of dramatic. It's a little bit dark. I think we can probably use one of the others. Yeah, a little bit. See, these tend to draw my eye in a little bit with all the detail, but we tend to lose the, the, the dynamic dramatic effect of the light though, don't we? Because now we don't really have any depth to the subject because it's all very evenly lit. So I'd prefer shadow versus light, which we had a little bit more on some of the other ones. More like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. No. Oh, very dramatic. Oh, I dig that. What's that called? Wet rocks. Yeah. Okay, you can see it's a bit grainy. There'll be a grain filter over here on the right hand side. We can adjust that. Again, too much light in the shadows there. Too dark in the shadows. Interesting. Well, I like grungy. If you really like grungy, that could work. And you can adjust all sorts of things over here on the right too, which is great. Look at all these filters. You're bound to find one that works relatively well or really, really well with pretty much every photo. Again, that's pretty nice. So is that. So is that. Oh, we're close. Maybe that one. What's that? More silver. Oh, I really enjoy that too. That's really in my style. It's not really probably the popular style. But I do like the grunginess. I would want to add a little bit more light here though. I quite enjoy that too. That one, I mean, for a more popular style, that one's contrasty, it's called. That's quite nice. I think we'll run with that one. We'll run with a, a more popular style because that will appeal to m more people that are watching this video rather than my crackpot style of editing. Um, okay. All right. Now, over on the right, there's a whole bunch of things we can play with. You can play with the brightness overall, you know. We might darken that off a little bit. The contrast looks fine. Structure gives a little bit more detail. You know, it's kind of like a high pass filter or a clarity filter that you might know quite well. We can also remove the effect from the shadows or the highlights. We don't need to in this case, I don't think. Color filter is interesting. If we go like blue, see how it gets really dark and dramatic on the rocks. Green is quite nice. So yellow gives us a little bit more sunlight on this rock here, which I really, really like. Orange is similar. Not much between those. Red is similar again. I probably like the yellow there. So that works well, you can adjust those. And then we can come down and have a play with the grain. Um, you can see, I mean, I like, if you turn the grain all the way to 500 and all the way down to soft, you'll pretty much have none. Okay, and that's, I like to add the grain right, right, right at the end of my workflow. You can see if I pull the grain down here, it gets really big and, you know, really big and grungy. Well, I don't really want that right now because I'm not sure if I want grain or not. So push that one to 500, that one down to soft. And then look, you can also tweak these a little bit. See how we can maybe lift up the yellows a little. 
Maybe pull down the blues a little to get some drama. You know, don't get too aggressive because you might introduce artifacting, but have a play around. There's, there's levels and curves, you can play around with that too. And then you've got different toning styles. Okay, we were at neutral number one, but look at all those different tones you can put in there. Very, very cool. Okay, you can add a vignette, which is just darkening the edges. Look at that, do, 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 do. all those. I'm going to leave that off too. Burn the edges is rather similar to vignette, a bit more aggressive maybe. We'll leave that off. And then if you like, there's a whole bunch of image borders. Sure, let's, let's do one for fun. Let's do an old film style. Let's choose that one. Okay, click OK. Da, 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 da. Normally I wouldn't do a border at this point, I'd wait right till the end as well. Couple of seconds of thinking time. Do, 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 do. And, and then look at that, it's nearly finished. Couple of little adjustments. I mean, that's why I wouldn't do a border because. Now I'm going to have trouble doing my editing, aren't I? But we'll ignore that, we'll ignore that. Curves, you know, maybe I want to darken down and get some more drama in the top of that sky. You know, simple adjustment here, Command or Control I, B for brush. And we'll just uh, white brush here. If you're interested in learning Photoshop and all about layers and masks, jump over to easywayphotography.com.au. There's a free sample on the homepage there. Okay, that, that's looking really, really nice. Maybe we just, I'll add another layer in fact, curves. I want to darken the shadows down a fraction just to get a bit of a play on that depth. A little bit like that. Maybe add some light, extra light on that side. Again, just to get that depth and dimension to our subject, which is going to add attention. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Down there, we'll We'll bleed that out a little bit so it doesn't look too bad. All right. And I think that's it. I mean, I think that's it. So if you're interested in black and white photography and not really confident like me, I'm not really confident in my black and whites, much more confident in my colors and my sort of romantic, dramatic style editing. But you can see there's a, a pretty, just a pretty normal, ordinary snapshot, midday shot. And I think we've done okay to really elevate that into something that's quite attractive. Anyway, that's Nick FX, the collection, Silver FX specifically. I find it really, really valuable. Currently 30% off. Link in the description. It's about, I think it's about 99 US dollars currently. Absolute bargain. The great thing is it's not a subscription. Pay once, you've got it pretty much forever. I've only paid twice in the last 10 years, once when I first purchased it and once just recently to get the upgrade after about eight years, I thought, well, let's see if they've um, added a few extra things. They had, um, but you can keep using it, keep using it down the track without upgrading. Look, it's excellent, excellent program. You can see the power that it has here to produce really, really nice black and whites. Anyway, I use it. If you think you get some value out of it as well, jump down on that link, click that link, and thank you very much because you'll be supporting me and supporting the channel as well. All right, in a couple of days, I'm going to launch the last Nick FX video, which will be analog effects, which is going to help add a whole bunch of mood and atmosphere and drama to pretty much any image. Okay, thanks again for watching along. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.